Welcome to another subpar catch, clean, and cook. I have been waiting to film this for so long. My neighbors behind me were getting their lawn done for about an hour and a half, so I couldn't do it then. And then my other neighbor decided to do yard work after that, and then the people across the way over there are doing yard work now. So guess what? You're gonna be listening to some lawn maintenance going on. But I do not care, because no one's gonna watch this video anyways. So today, if you saw my last video, we have some good sushi grade fish for you. First one, pretty beefy blackfin tuna right here. Delicious as always. And one less common fish, a studly rainbow runner. One of my favorite fish to eat, actually, but not a lot of people uh, get them. They're not a very common fish. It's not as common as a uh, blackfin, but nonetheless, extremely good. So I'm gonna clean them up and I'm going to sear them. That's what I'm gonna do. As you can see, it's a uh, you know long skinny fish. These fish are on both sides. You catch them in the Pacific as well. Catch them in Hawaii. Uh, like I said, not very common, but they are very tasty. Start with a simple cut here. I've actually never filleted one this big before. I haven't caught one in several years. I've been on a boat that's caught one. Uh, so it's a fun little change of scenery. Actually, I don't know if I've ever cleaned one of these before. He looks pretty good. Very tuna-esque. A little bit wider than tuna. Mm -hmm. A little bit wider than tuna. It's a good looking filet though. All right, so here's the part of the video I need to be completely honest with you all. I wanted to clean those fish after a charter um, for about three or four days, but each of those days I was blowing so hard that the audio would have been bad and I, and I just kept on putting it off. They're, so they're just sitting in the cooler in the back of my car. I was just kept thinking to myself how they're gonna be nasty and like non-edible. But I finally decided to clean them and you can just tell <laughs> that I'm so mad at myself for waiting that long, just wasting fish. But, <laughs> but it's funny to watch me be pissed at myself and it actually turned out amazing i'm so glad that it wasn't fresh because i just would have seared it it made me try something new that i know i will love for forever now so shout out to me for being lazy <laughs> enjoy the rest of the video <laughs> all right so clean it up not a bad looking filet right there pretty good looking skinning Cut out the bloodline. a little fatter because left some skin on the back side of the other one and that one looks better cut out the bloodline again I didn't take the thumbnail dude sucks bloodline and rib cage are out Now for this chonky black fin. Oh yeah. Stand it up, do this one. It's a beeper. Beeper. I don't know, maybe I'll make tuna salad with this. I've never made tuna salad before. Let me do this adventure together. What's in it? Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise and tuna? I don't know. It's looking pretty delightful right there. God, this guy's fat. Okay, go down the other side. Of the spine, maybe. I did work on the west coast for a while and I did catch a ton of tuna, but I did not clean a ton of tuna. So, so what the deal is over there, a lot of those boats go out for either like full days, three days, or my boat, what, I, what we did was go like seven to 10 days. There'd be so much fish in such a short turnaround. It's not like 
what we have here on the East Coast. What they have there is called fish processor. So there'll be people that come down to the dock and you choose which processor you want and they weigh your fish for you. Um, they fillet it, they vacuum seal it, and they uh, freeze it. And you just pay per pound. Uh, and uh, so I never really cleaned them. We would clean some for like galley fish, but honestly, I didn't really clean tuna that much. So it's really, it's really good looking meat, actually. Still got the bloodline in it, but it's good looking fish. Good looking fish. Lay out the skin, gonna cut it fat because I don't want any skin particles or extra nasties. Skin particles. Okay, that's perfect right here. That's exactly what I wanted. Trim the bloodline. All right, looking a lot better after the uh, bloodline trim. It's a good looking piece of fish, actually. Looking forward to eating that. All right, there's the bottom line. Got to trim this one up as well. Cutting all the nasty out. Good looking farm piece of tuna right there. Look at me. See you in the kitchen. All right, so this recipe calls for this to be poached. What you gotta do is you gotta first cube this up and uh, get your stuff boiling. All right, got all your stuff laid out. We got the mayo, mustard, hot sauce for when you mix it all up, as well as the red onion and the celery. And you got some lemon for that for taste. For the boil, what you're gonna do is use one part water, one part white wine, and you're gonna throw in salt and pepper, a bay leaf, a whole lemon rind, and uh, you're gonna cube this up and you're gonna let it poach. So, got some good pieces of tuna right here. To add my own little flair, because I actually am not a huge fan of tuna salad. I'm like one of those people that hasn't really eaten it because it looks gross. So I'm not like the biggest fan of tuna salad, but bacon makes everything. Well, I guess we'll get the water boiling first. I guess that'd be a smart thing to do. All right, so this calls for one part water and one part wine. It's You're supposed to do three quarters of a cup of each, but that's for one pound. I think I got more than one pound here. Good old friends, yeah, baby. And I like it. Actually, I would have gotten real. All right, now that we're back from that. So it's one part water, one part wine. I would have got a nice bottle of wine, but uh, I'm going to do two separate boils for the rainbow runner and the tuna so i didn't want to reuse the same water mm. tastes just like college so um i'm gonna throw in the bay leaves a little bit of pepper and uh the lime rind and uh get this to a boil you're supposed to boil it and then before you put the fish in before you put the fish in you have to let it simmer i feel like such an adult this is the first time i've ever cooked with wine I'm officially a grown person now. So I'm officially an adult now because that's what adults do. They cook with wine. All right, that's good enough for me. Then your bay leaves. I'm gonna put a couple in because these are kind of small. And then we're gonna boil it up. And then I'm going to start the, then I'm gonna start the bacon. For the bacon, I'm just baking it because uh, frying it is just kind of a mess and annoying and I don't like cleaning up. So guess what? We're doing it this way with tin foil, so it's easy. You're gonna do that. <laughs> Alrighty. Alright, this package says baking 375. It's kind of faded. For 18 to 26 minutes, so I'll do 26 because it's a lot of bacon. Okay, we popped it in the oven. I'm gonna go ahead and cube this up. And it's, I'm just gonna try to get it to be even, just so it all cooks the same. So we got cubed up into little nice, more manageable pieces. Just like that. Yeah. Right now we're just waiting on the uh, water to boil and the bacon to get done. So that's, all, that's what we're doing now. We're waiting, folks. Whew, it's kind of big. Big glass of wine. Look, I didn't have a trip today. I don't have a trip tomorrow. I can do what I want. I'm an adult. I'm cooking with wine. I would say someone would get offended. But honestly, my views on these cleaning cooks are so bad. No one's going to watch it anyway, so. Might as well have fun doing it, right? Okay, so she's boiling, so I'm going to lower it to not a stop, a simmer. Wait for the bubbles to stop and then add the tuna. All right, now we're going to add the tuna. You're supposed to cook it for six to eight minutes and stir it regularly. 
so it don't stick together. There's the last of it. That's way too full, but oh well. I don't care. It's actually going better than I planned it to be. It's like perfect amount of boil and perfect amount of tuna, so I can actually still stir it. And it'll cook evenly. So I'm gonna stir it a couple more times and I'm gonna start chopping my vegetables for after I pull it and it's cooled down. It's called for one stalk of celery and then some red onion. So chop it up in little teeny tiny pieces. I really actually hope I do like this because I mean, blackfin's good seared, but it's not yellowfin or bluefin or big eye, but it'd be pretty sick if this like turned into, you know, this just turned into like a favorite thing for mine to do with this stuff. I don't really catch blackfin that much. I'm not like, we're not like in South Florida where they're everywhere all the time, or it's like a thing we target. We only get really a couple a year and they're always on anchor. So it's not like we run around, you waste a lot of time doing that, trying to commercial fish. And it's not worth the money. All right, so that's a fair amount of veggies, I suppose. This is all gonna be countered by the copious amounts of bacon I'm gonna add, but I'll add a little bit of texture and flavor, I suppose. That's kind of a lot. Almost too healthy for me. God forbid. I strain it and uh, kind of dry it a little bit. All right. Check and make sure this thick piece is fully cooked. Perfect. Very good. Let's just scoop everything out. Nice. Okay, now we're going to assemble the actual salad part. Okay, so like I said, this is, I assume, double what this recipe calls for. So if you do one pound of blackfin, you're supposed to add four tablespoons of mayo. I'm gonna do eight. You know what, I'm gonna do six. That looks like a pound and a half to me. Ew, mayo. I actually don't like mayo at all, but God. it's like eggs, isn't it? It's eggs and it's bad for you. I will never ever put it on a sandwich myself. Like if I'm going to Publix or if I'm like eating some cold cuts, I'll never do it myself. But if it's on a sandwich, I will never complain. That's all I know. It's one of those things. I feel like there's a lot of people that way too. And then it calls for one teaspoon of Dijon mustard. So I'm gonna do like a hefty overflowing teaspoon. Yeah, that's good to me. Yeah. I'm just adding hot sauce because I would like just a little bit of heat in this. In case this does suck, I can at least just not taste it because of the heat. But no, it's all I like I like a little bit of tasteful heat, not a lot. I'm not a spice person, but about a little bit of Louisiana's finest. And uh, salt pepper and the veggies. And while I'm waiting for this tuna to cool down, I'm gonna start my uh, other boil for the Rainbow Runner. Mm. Woo, bacon's done! Oh, oh my god. Oh god, I got, I got fire blasted. Oh yeah, that's gonna get soaked with bacon grease. Woo hoo hoo, that's gross. Woo! Yeah, that's a really good idea. Bacon and alcohol make everything better, am I right? I'm gonna layer to rest some paper towels to get some of the grease off because there's a ton on this thick cut bacon. I'm gonna pat it down so it don't make it too greasy. I'm gonna keep it a little bit healthy. Come on. Get out of there. Get out of there. It's gonna end poorly. Okay. All right, you just want to pat, pat, pat it down a little bit. Look at that disgusting grease. We're going to pat it down really well. I want that diet bacon. Mm -hmm. And also remember to pour your grease down the drain. That's the best place for it. So now that the bacon's done with, I'll continue to do this. I guess I'll add a little bit more lemon. We're going to mix the rip rock. I don't know if this is going to be enough. That's a lot of tuna. I don't know. I do. I am going to check to see if it's spicy enough, though. Could use a little more heat. I'm gonna have more. I'm gonna wash the damn spoon now. Might as well make it spicy. Add a little bit of character to it. You also need to make sure that tuna is pretty chilled out before you put it in the bowl and start shredding it. Yeah. Good stuff. And I'm gonna show you the bridge version of everything I do for the Rainbow Runner because you just saw me do it with the tuna. Chop. Chop. Okay, so I got 
the tuna in the bowl right now, I'm gonna shred it up a little bit, and then I'm gonna add my other fun bits. Yay. And shred, 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 shred. I'm not gonna lie to you. Don't smell all that bitching right now. <laughs> oh God, we'll see how this goes. Professional Chef Joe, we have struck out. I'm happy with the consistency right here, so. It's like a pretty good amount of shred in. There's some big chunks in there as well. But uh, that looks good to me. I'm actually gonna add the Rainbow Runner to that boil, and then I'm gonna add this other stuff. Oh, Runner to the simmer. This actually, it's kind of sus because it is a lot less firm than the tuna. So it'll probably shred easier and like be more consistent when it's, you know, in its final form. But as of right now, I don't know how well this is gonna boil. Oh God. But we shall find out. We are on this adventure together. And this, uh... oh God, I need to chop up the bacon too. I wonder if this is gonna be enough. I'm gonna have to make some more mix. First glance. So, uh, well, I think it might be enough, yeah? I think so, give it a shot. Again, I don't eat tuna salad that much, so I'm not like 100% on what the consistency is supposed to be. It smells good now. Definitely is a smell improvement. Yeah, that looks right. Yeah, that looks right, right? It looks like some chicken of the sea. If I've ever seen it, look at that. Yeah. That's pretty good for a first time around. So now, I'm gonna add the bacon to our little mixture here. Oh yeah, that's what we want right there, that crispy stuff. This is actually a pretty good idea. When all else fails, if you think something's gonna be shitty, add bacon and hot sauce. Okay, so I'm gonna mix all the goodies. And... Mix, 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 mix. Looks like a pretty even stir to me. All right, there you go. All stirred up, looks pretty good, I guess. Find out. And now I gotta store this and chill it so I can reuse the bowl for the Rainbow Runner mixture. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I just broke up the uh, thickest of the pieces and it looks cooked all the way through, so it's time to scoop this stuff out. It looks like it stayed together pretty well, not as well as the tuna. I'm curious to see. So, Rainbow Runner is kind of like a combination. Technically, it's a jack species. I read that in an article one time. But it really has a consistency more like an African pompano or a tuna. And it's very good seared. I figured this would be a decent thing for this fish to be cooked like. But I guess we'll find out. It's it's I actually, it's really more similar to a white fish, like a grouper or a snapper, in terms of like the flakes. As you can kind of see right there. But... We're gonna see if it works. I'm sure it will. I, I I bet you could just make this tuna salad or fish salad with any other fish. You just gotta poach it. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna find out if it's actually good or not. So I will say this about the Rainbow Runner before I add all the other goodies in it. It really does look exactly like the standard issue white tuna albacore tuna salad that you would get out of a packet. Just because it breaks up better, that blackfin ended up being a little bit more chunky, but come to think of it, the rainbow runner filet is more close to the albacore, which is the white tuna that, you know, chicken of the sea makes with their tuna salad. Um, so, I guess that's why it looks similar. I, I think, honestly, I'm convinced you could do this with any fish, actually. All right, I am so unbelievably over this video. If you know how long it took me to cook two batches of effing tuna salad you would watch this video longer and comment and like it and subscribe Whoa. french bread so i'm just gonna cut it in slices and use it like not like a cracker but like a fancy cracker i'm not i was thinking about toasting it but honestly the amount of effort i put into this video for the 900 views i'm gonna get is not gonna be worth it so that's what you're getting not toast Okay, here we have it. Rainbow Runner and Blackfin Tuna. Fish salad, I need a refill. This is taking me like three hours and my third glass. Sue me. All right, um, so, damn. I don't know which one to try first. I wanna try the black one first. But I'm gonna scoop this one. Scoop the, uh, 
the Rainbow Runner. Good piece of bacon. Now Blackfin. All right. I'm gonna try the real. Mm, you know what? I'm gonna try the fake tuna first. The uh, Rainbow Runner. So looks pretty good. Looks like legit tuna salad. Um, much wider fish than the actual yellowfin, blackfin, bluefin stuff. It looks like the right thing. Again, this is going to be the most honest tuna salad review that you will probably see because I don't eat tuna salad, but it just felt like the thing to do. I don't know. Rainbow Runner tuna salad. Really? That is good. Wow. That is impressively good. I cannot believe that that tastes like the way it does. Maybe I just like tuna salad, I didn't know. I'm shocked. That's unbelievable. That's, I'm, I'm at a loss of words. That's, that's really good. Okay, <laughs> moving on. Here is the blackfin, the actual tuna. Same, again, this is the, uh, I use the same boil, the same amount of bacon, celery, onion, same mixture of mayonnaise, um, hot sauce, mustard, salt, and pepper, and lemon. So, this is head to head, right here. That's really good too, what the hell? What the hell? Am I a, am I a tuna salad guy? Who am I? That's really good. What the hell? That's really good. I don't know if I think I like the rainbow runner better, honestly. But I don't know. That was a lot of bread. They're both really, really good. Mmm. Yo, dude, that Rainbow Runner is the shit. That's really good, but that is really, really good. Damn, that makes me want to try it with like an actual white meat, like a grouper or a snapper. That's good. What? Am I a freaking tuna fish guy? A tuna fish salad guy? That's good. Wow. I'm shocked. I was honestly expecting to completely hate both of these, just because this is just not my deal, this cold tuna fish mayonnaise nonsense, but I'm so stoked. It's, is it worth the three hours? Actually, I think it is for me to find out that I actually like this stuff, first of all, learn how to cook it and then get some content for you people, you 15 people that are still watching at the end of this video, but do those 15 people. <clears throat> Thank you so much for watching. This was actually a lot of fun to film. Um, I know I, these videos do horribly for me, but I do enjoy making this kind of content. So if you liked it, please let me know. So it gives me a reason to keep on doing it. And uh, subscribe. I am very close to 10K, and I would love for you to become part of the family. If you want to see some more subpar Franzia film videos, guys. Thank you so much, guys. I love you all, and I will see you next time.